I mean, we're only seven years old, but in cold brew years, it feels like we're pretty ancient. You're like soaked in sweat. Yeah. Is that kind of exemplary of how what it's like to get a business like this off the ground? Uh, definitely, there's a lot of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Especially a cold brew business where our peak season is in the summer. This is a cold brewery. Looks very much like a microbrewery for beer. Big stainless steel tanks behind us is where the coffee is brewed. Uh, it steeps for 20 hours. Then we filter the coffee and the liquid is processed and goes into bottles. We originally founded in Brooklyn seven years ago. Uh, we were located in Williamsburg Greenpoint, which as you know, got really pricey really quickly. Uh, so we started looking around and the Bronx was definitely the most affordable. It was conveniently located. My reaction to buying it at a coffee shop was this is really expensive. We are talking $354 for a cold brew coffee. When I started making it on my own, realized really how simple the procedure was, how easy it was to make it on your own, being able to put this product in a bottle, uh, have servings that are around a dollar to a dollar 25 per cup versus again that 350. It started off the, you know, with uh, probably $10,000. You know, also when you start in a business like this, you're not necessarily paying yourself at the beginning. So, you know, I'm thankful for the support of my wife who was gainfully employed and was able to support us and our family. Yeah, we're, we're sold really uh, throughout the United States. We're in five of the whole food regions. We just got into Walmart. So we've been sold in France, the UK, Canada, Japan, Australia, Hong Kong. So the value, the quality, the convenience of it are really what make this product special.